I'm sorry. They wanted it in soft spoken. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, totally forgot about that part. So we're going to do a soft spoken. They booked a 30 minute candle wax reading. So I just ordered new candles. Zoom out for a little bit until I start. So here's the new candles. So if you book a 15 or 30 minute candle reading with me, um, you can choose any of these colors. 15 minute, I do one candle. 30 minute, I do two candles. So we have maroon, dark orange. Light orange, yellow, pink, red, and purple. And I feel for this anonymous person. I'm going to choose one red. So one red candle. So TonyBumboni.com links below to book your own candle reading services from me. you guys listen to my ASMR albums as well. And I honestly feel like bright yellow. can see some coffee cups here. I have some coffee cup readings to do soon, which is why that's there. Perfect. So let's start with the, the yellow. I want to start with the yellow. So we're going to tap in and see what's going on with said person and what's going on with you guys. Since so if someone gives me permission, that means this is message for you as well. Okay. Let's begin. And no, I'm not farting. That's my chair. You're working on something here. There, it looks like a half human, half bird, and he has like a bird on his shoulder. It's like he's whispering something in your ear, working alongside you, but sharing secrets as well. There's secrets involved here. What could that be about? Some secretive stuff here. You're kind of melancholy right now, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Neither here nor there, in between both worlds at the moment. You're just waiting for some answers. You're waiting on something to just stick with you uh, and make sense. I'm not talking about this reading, I'm just talking about life in general, like something's not making sense or adding up, the numbers are not adding up. Mm. Someone around you also has an illness, um, it could be liver, gallbladder, disease, something with the clearing the toxic fluids of the body, it could even be gastric juices. You're trying to connect and reach with others, but it's like you're 
they're not receptive to your connection right now. They're in their own little worlds, their own little imagination, dealing with their own little struggles and problems. Someone's very far and you wish they were near. For comfort, for companionship mostly. Maybe they've always been at a distance from you and there's not much you could have done or said to change things, make anything any better. You know. See foreign language. I don't know if some of you are you're learning a foreign language at this time. Um I think it is a great time to do so for you specifically. You're kind of um, filling yourself up with the wrong things. So fill yourself up, up the, fill yourself up with the right things. Inspiring words, good foods, you know, the right people around you. There's someone like holding on to balloons and there's only three. It's like if one of those balloons pop, you know, it's not good news for you. So try not to put your eggs in all in one basket. Um, Cause those balloons might not be able to carry your basket. If that makes sense. So many people, you know, go down that route and it's like, you know, one income stream or um, I don't know you can't say one partner because like obviously if you have a partner you want it to be just that one unless you know you're more open to the idea but you know I would also say one house but not everyone can afford two or three houses right so Apply to how this applies to you. What what do you need to do where all your eggs are not in one basket? If that were to be gone tomorrow, what would you have left, right? Something like that. Um, there's a mother here nurturing very loving, kind, caring energy I'm seeing. And uh, she's supportive of you. Raised you, watched you as a baby. And... Um, there's love there and a special connection, but maybe there needs to be more like a reaching out. Maybe you need to reach out more to them or, you know, um, if they need your help, be there for them to kind of help guide them. You not just help, like help physically with things like carry this, lift this, cook this, clean this, doing chores, but more so helping like advice or, you know, sometimes, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it all a person that's older than you asking someone that's younger for advice because sometimes the younger generations have a new perspective on life a fresh viewpoint that they didn't have because they didn't grow up in our time period right they just lived in our time period so um even i'm talking 20 30 40 50 year time difference like ask someone that much younger than you for something and you would be surprised even a kid down the street will just tell you some wisdom today that it would have taken you maybe 10 years to figure out on your own I'm serious because they're just so wise you know um, try not to do too much right now try not to scatter yourself into too many things because you're going to disorganize yourself and you're going to start to lose your memory you're going to start, your brain's going to start getting foggy headed and, you know, try not to have too many impressions throughout the day too, like watching or listening too many news articles, tweets, you know, too much stimulation, too much stimmy, right? Um, that can overload the wiring of your brain and then cause you to have fog, fogginess and disassociating kind of. So yeah, just make sure that you stick to a schedule. If you limit yourself to certain activity during the day, I'm only gonna work out 30 minutes today. I'm not gonna overexert myself. I'm only gonna work for five, six hours today. I'm not gonna overexert myself. I'm only gonna meal plan for an hour today. I'm not gonna overexert myself. You know, just keep reminding yourself. And then 
by reminding yourself you also exercise the brain muscle and then you uh, remember, you know. So, like, try not to start your day scattered is what I'm trying to say, where you're just starting your day 9 o'clock in the morning. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how today's going to go. I'm just going to vibe with it and flow. No, now's the time to schedule, to organize. All right, I would say that for you. And um, things are yes and no, very up and down, left and right, north and south, east and west. So um, I feel like you're being tugged at multiple directions, not with knowing which way to turn. So that can leave you feeling stuck and trapped. Um, but are you okay in this mid space, this middle ground of not knowing what to do, where to go, who to be with? You know, maybe you're planning a trip with some friends. Should I really bring that drama person? Because last time, like, okay, here's what I'm gonna tell you in the dead honest truth. If you can't even bring a person to a restaurant, how the hell are you gonna bring? <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm preaching to the choir here. How the hell are you going to bring them on vacation? If they can't even make it through a dinner date with you or around a group of friends without some drama, <laughs> how are you going to go on a week-long trip, a month-long trip with this soul? I feel like you've known them for a long time, so it's ready. You normally don't go on vacations with people unless you really know them. Um, so I, f I feel like you know them. I'm not saying that's what you're planning. I'm just saying ultimately that this is what I'm sensing in the future, right? Like I'm reading Pat, uh, uh, bleh, sorry. Yeah, I got, no, yeah, that's right. Uh, I don't know what I'm reading. Sometimes I'm reading past, future, or present. It doesn't matter however it connects with you, and what you feel intuitively will occur. If something hasn't happened yet, then that's the future that I'm talking about. So I see a swollen head, but like they're upside down, and it's like, that honestly tells me like blood circulation, like try not to be too much upside down. Like too much, you know, so a lot of people want to lie down and lift their legs, and that's fine, and that helps with swelling in the feet, but what about the head, you know? When you get too much blood circulation to that area. Mm. I heard it's good for you, but too much of everything's no good, right? Or you're doing workouts that require you to be like aerobatic, upside down, kind of like there's something with the head um, that can make you maybe dizzy. Um, just be mindful of how you're moving and move slowly. Especially if you're of a certain age, you don't have to be that fast anymore. You're not 15 anymore, all right? You don't have to be as on your feet. And you don't have to feel guilty that you are not as on your feet as you used to. Even if you're 14 versus 24, that's already a big difference, right? Like, if you're 24, you remember, you're not 14 anymore. You don't have to always be jumbling around, moving around like crazy, you know, okay... Um, take it easy take it easy know your age okay realistically you have to know your age like yeah you could think and feel differently but there's a realistic aspect too to your age all right so yeah you just have to be honest with yourself and accept it and that's hard for a lot of people to do because they're like well I don't feel I don't feel 50 I don't feel 70 I don't feel you know great but still know your limits realistically um, that's all I think you have a lot of energy though during this time so it's going to be hard for you to stay still Any last messages before we complete? No. Nope. All right. That always amazes me when it's still on. It's like, um, okay. Let's continue with the next message. 
What else do we need to know about this anonymous person? And my poopsies. Again, something with swelling, like there's like a lump in your throat or in your chest. Maybe it feels like tightness in your chest. Um, again, something to do with blood circulation. I feel like um, your body's health, you know, the juices. Again, it's just, it's very important to keep in mind um, that we're exercising properly, eating healthily, you know, getting a lot of sleep and rest. A lot of you are turning to religion. Um, I want to say it in first person though, because like, like you, you know, I don't want to like lose sight of the, because this is still a custom booking. Um, you are maybe turning to more faith, more, more, um, maybe out there what would be considered woo woo, <laughs> woo woo subjects, um, or maybe even spirituality. Um, a lot of you faith and religion though if I have to say a lot of you um, like you're starting to buy altars and stuff like that candles, incense, you know maybe crystals you're working with herbs maybe you're working with just it just more feels like religious slash spiritualism and you're doing it from a home excuse me you're not necessarily like going out there and asking for someone's help or opinion you're just exploring it on your own you're diving deep into the unknown practices and the, maybe the mystical arts and you know um, it's fun it's exciting um, enjoy it you know enjoy the journey of what that looks like for you you have to experiment to see and know what you want in this life. So why not trial and error, trial and error? You don't have to always, you know, be doing the same thing in life. If it doesn't feel right for you, doing what feels right would be best in this scenario. And I think it'll help you a lot and be healthier. I also see something with the skeleton system, skeletal system. Um... Make sure that calcium intake is coming through, all right? Um, just again, just mobility is good and check. You're moving around. You're not just bedridden. A lot of times people want that bedridden day, but that's not good for you. That's not healthy, you know, to stay in bed all day unless your back hurts like crazy. I did feel some back pain or like on my side where the spleen is, like something there, um, maybe rib cage lungs. Maybe some of you are having, because I'm hypersensitive, I also feel pain, physical sensations while I'm doing readings. And I'm like, that's out of nowhere, you know? It's not that I'm not sitting right, it's just I have to trust it. I'm sorry if my voice is raspy, I've been doing bookings all week, <laughs> like literally. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Um. Ah. <sighs> singing something about singing praise like singing worship glory like stuff like that like it just joy just gratitude just uplifting abundant praise and i think we all need that once in a while regardless of faith regardless of belief you know i think we all need that vibrational shift and elevation you know like mm -hmm. i think this will raise the vibrations and heal you help you even just like you Singing or humming to yourself will help lift, uplift your own vibration. Did you know that? Yeah, now you know. It's all such a beautiful thing. We have the power to heal ourselves. Use your voice and then heal others. As you heal others, you heal yourself because when you talk to others, you, you kind of come with revelations. You realize a lot of stuff about yourself. You would have never said before on your own, and then that's why I say when you heal others, you help them, you reach out, you give advice, you help heal this world, my friends, okay? Someone's very negative around you, very pessimistic. Um, they're just giving like that attitude. Uh, this could be the friend that you can't even take to a dinner date with, like literally. 
um, they're always like complaining or in the in the pessimism. And I'm not saying let this person go because they're probably just going. I feel like they're just going through a hard time. Have a lot of issues at home. Maybe with family members or other friendships. Could even be other lovers as well. Not other lovers. I said that wrong. That sounds like they're cheating. Well, lovers in general, okay? Maybe someone did cheat on them. But um, I say that to say it's okay. Like, you might just want to give them a hug and a snack bar. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes that's all you need is someone to just lift you up and be like, hey, here's a banana. You'll feel better after eating it. And it's true, you know? Like, you just remind them, take care of yourself. You know, we all have issues, okay? Um, we all have things to deal with, all right? Uh, adulthood is not a fantasy. Like, it's not... Only children admire it because they, they're so eager and ready to be an adult. But what they fail to understand is the naivety and gullibilism, whatever the F that name is. They're, children are naive and gullible, all right? We naturally are when we're children. So they don't understand how hard it is to be an adult, how much you have to face. But even as an adult, we don't understand how hard it is because we don't understand how easy we had it. We thought at the time everything was, the world was against us. Especially as teenagers. So I feel like um, your faith will keep you pushing forward and strong and persevering. I see perseverance. Some of you are opening new businesses, brand new businesses. May it prosper and succeed. Stop listening to the statistics that demotivate you and tell you 90% of new businesses fail. I want you to put that right out the door and understand that, you know what, I'm the 90% that succeed. How about that, right? Or the 10%, I would say. But, you know, that 10% is so big, it's it's, it's going to feel like 90% to you. All right? But don't give up even if it does flop at first, you know? Something will stick eventually. The singing could attribute to maybe an album, honestly. I see like a CD album, honestly. Some of you could just literally try to get there and do that stuff. Be a musical artist. Maybe you play an instrument, a piano, classical music. or I think this is a very good hobby to dive into and be passionate about moving forward. Um, you need music around you to uplift your vibration, so that's all the more better for you and the more enlightening enlightenment. Even if you stick your AirPods in and you play your favorite pop jams, you know, R and B, jazz, do what you can and that will help you. Like you need to play it on your TV while you're in the kitchen cooking and if you have it in the living room just blasting this music. You know, there's something about it. It just gets us going, it gets us blood flowing. And gets us out of a bad vibe. Honestly, some of you I'm even seeing like fight. Okay, sorry. I know this is personal, but I have to say it. Maybe you have a fight with your partner and it's like you're just blasting that music just so they can shut up and you don't have to listen to them. Like, this is the kind of thing I'm describing here. A lot of people are in conflict and fights right now. These energies are coming through strong. And... What, didn't we just have like a lion gate portal or whatever the hell that means? I don't care anyway. It's just like all a bunch of bahuga anyway. Um, you know, like it, it, it's, it's... The day wasn't any different than any other day. Let's put it, let's be real, right? It's just clickbait at this point. But I understand it still has some influence. It affects the energy, so I don't deny that. It affects things long term, but... Let's stop making a day a big deal, okay? All right. So um, what I'm trying to say is um, there's a lot of energies kicking in. So there you go, all right? It's gradually happening. It's not just one day that's going to make everything change. No, that's not how it works. Mm. Everything's more of a precursor. So if I have to say collectively, there's like this quote-unquote, it reminded me of the event. 
Lord, I still feel like I'm going to be honest with you guys. August 17. At first, I thought it was personal to me because that's the day when I'm one year sober. But spirit kept reminding me of that day. And I'm like, why? I tapped in. It's a collective day. It's a collect. I don't know what will happen August 17. I'm not here to claim anything. I'm not here to say I have superpowers that will, you know, I'm from the future and I'm going to tap it. But something about that day is big. I don't know what it could mean, but they're reminding me of it again. Maybe it's big just for this person who booked this specific session. Then that's for you. Maybe it's for the collective. I feel like it's a collective. The event. They just tell me the event. That's all they say. So maybe you have an event to go to. A conference. A meeting. That's very big and important. And you get rewarded with something big and important and special. So I don't know. Just set the intent for goodness to occur. Purity in your heart. Do not fear. But if you do fear, let's stop saying to each other, do not fear. Because you have to feel fear, you know why? So you can clear the fear out so you can heal. So don't don't ever tell someone, oh, don't, don't fear, don't listen to the fear. Well, maybe you have to sometimes so that you can get it out of your system and then grow and learn from it. All right? If anyone, at this point, if anyone just tells you to do something, just ignore them. Listen to your own heart. At this stage in life, um... Things are going to change very fast. You guys know it. Remember when I said July, things are really going to start kicking in and speeding up. And all of a sudden it got like really hot outside, like record after record breaking. Like today it's like one, yesterday like 115, today it's like 114. I mean, for goodness, 13, 14, whatever. Saturday is going to be even hotter. Like for goodness sake, so much stuff started picking up. And I said something about the weather, like, either wind speeds or like storms and a lot of places had a lot of wind and storms the east the northeast the i think asia the, you know i'm not saying um I'm, I'm i'm prophesying but like kind of if i have to be honest like um you guys remember that video when i predicted every month how it's gonna go down and pretty much i got and even on Instagram, I posted a post like there was going to be a great fire. And I had no idea that was Canada. This was like last year I, I predicted this for this year. And then I said that big earthquake in Turkey, right? So, like, it's crazy, you know. I don't know why I'm seeing August 17. I hope it's not another weather related. I wouldn't be surprised because it's happening pretty much every day around the world. Something big weather related event. Like every day now. Every day. Like biblical floods and like so I'm just saying we know what time it is. Um prepare mentally the best you can, but again I'm not gonna say don't fear. Just feel what you have to feel, get it out of your system, and then that's gonna help you heal. Okay, thank you so much. Twenty percent Tony too. For future bookings for life if you'd like to use anonymous person. <laughs> And uh, anyone else who wants to book any of my services, candle readings. This is how it works. 30 minutes. I use two candles. There you go. Coffee cup reading. One, one cup for 15 minutes. Two cup for 30 minutes. All right. TonyBomboni.com to book your own. Again, ASMR albums and bookings. Check those out. Those are the hands down. The top two ways to help fund and support this channel. To buy stuff like the candles, the bowls, the cups, the coffee, etc. To keep doing your bookings, keep providing content for you, you know. There you go, guys. All right, I love you all so much. I hope, Anonymous, <laughs> you enjoyed your reading and it resonated with you. Take care, Poopsies, and I hope this resonated with you as well. Bye-bye now.